Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jimmy Brooks. Thanks for stopping into the channel. Today I wanted to go over a couple differences that I really like on the XSR900 over the MT-09. So other than the obvious styling differences, the looks of the bike, uh, there are some mechanical differences that I quite enjoy on this thing and why, it, yeah, it wasn't just the looks that made me go for this bike. It, I loved every change between those two bikes. So starting with here, the swing arm, um, if you guys know the old MT-09 had this kind of like a uh, stubby like bend in it and it was two and a half inches shorter than this swing arm. This is the, actually the same swing arm off of the Tracer 9. So that contributes greatly to stability at higher speeds, especially during turns and even on the highway. To, to show you how stable this thing is during a turn, uh, here, here's a good turn I like. All right, so coming into this corner here, this is what I'm talking about with the stability of this swing arm. We're coming in at, you know, 80. Probably get a little more speed on this one. We are, I mean, we are almost 95 miles an hour in a turn. And it feels like it could go a lot quicker than that, but I ain't going quicker on, on these roads. So yeah, it just gives you crazy confidence, this super planted feeling, like how I imagine supercars would feel. I got a little bit of that feeling of stableness and stability when I had uh, the newest generation Camaro, you know, that, that Alpha chassis platform, very stable at high speeds. And I've never gotten that stability feeling from a motorcycle ever until this one. All right, so the second thing is actually going to be the seat. I know a lot of people, this is like the deal breaker for them. Um, you know, in person, many people have grown to like it. I liked it from the very beginning. I don't have this like idea of like a flat track racer or a cafe racer in my head. I just, I just like the styling when I like it. And I didn't need it to be flat. Um, you know, say what you will about the, the low and the high part right here but I mean it was immediately when I saw that immediately I thought oh hey I'll bet you that it's lower to the ground because that that part right there looks really thin to me and because it comes up like that you have the greatest ass shelf in the world now and even I think over the MT-09 I know the MT-09 has a little one and it goes up but that's like you know a hard cut and when I'm in first gear if I'm wanting you know, no intervention from wheelie control or anything. I want to put all the power down in first gear, full throttle, full must stop, no wheelies. It'll do it. You just put your butt up against that thing. The, the bike is long enough and the front wheel, I mean, maybe we'll hop a bit, but it keeps it keeps it on the ground pretty good. And I mean, I would venture to say it might be just just a hair quicker from uh, from a standstill than the MT-09 just because of the length and just the stability you get from that. And with that, leading right into this, thirdly, is going to be the actual body position you're in. With this seat, you know, you're going to be a little bit more in the bike. I love that feeling of, like, in a cockpit, you know, and, and not on the motorcycle. I love being in the motorcycle. And with that, you know, you get down here, and these bars are actually a little higher than on the MT-09. And it makes your relative body position a little bit different than the MT-09. And I know I don't have a second person or camera to, to help illustrate this, but for me, at 5'11", God, I don't even know what my inseam is. It seems like 29, but I don't know. It seems short for my height. But anyway, um, I have a uh, little bend in my knee. I can flat foot on both sides. I wasn't able to do that with uh, the XSR 700. I was on my toes just a hair. And on this, it's super good. So when I'm like, you know, the one foot on the rear brake thing, like I'm just, I'm chilling. This, you know, this feels lighter to me just because it is, it is lower. And I like this a lot. It's... I don't know, the combination of how far I can scoot up on this thing and how high these bars are, to me, sometimes I feel more upright on this bike than my XSR 700. But, uh, you know, it, for you people describe this as an aggressive position, not super aggressive, but for a naked bike, it's a little leaned forward compared to like the old XSR 900. While I've never sat on that, this is to me a fantastic position it doesn't feel aggressive at all to me i can just well probably because i could i could snuggle up real close to this thing and then my arms are really long that's the thing is i have i have short legs for a 511 guy but pretty long arms so i'm just boom i'm right here i'm chilling so that's that and other than the styling obviously that's huge um i just am in love with the looks it's like it's like Yamaha asked me to 
you know give suggestions on color combos for a bike this is like what i would probably do honestly make it bright make it blue give it weird stuff make it stand out just make it ridiculous and that they did <laughs> i love it i love it love it so those are all the differences between those um i know that was a pretty short video and straight to the point but those are the three differences i noticed so far oh that's one more uh the suspension is tuned specifically for this bike um i haven't ridden the new mt09 but I know the XSR 700 in the past has been stiffer than the MT-07, so this might be, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong if you've ridden all the bikes, but I would imagine that this is a little stiffer than the MT-09, so maybe it's a nice middle ground between the MT-09 and the MT-09 SP. Maybe this is the Goldilocks zone. Don't know. I guess I'll ride all of them to find out eventually, but... With that, that's going to be about it. Uh, let me know what else you want to see. I'll make the videos. I'm loving this bike so far. Uh, we almost got it broken in. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.